What are isotopes? Isotopes are atoms of the same element, having the same atomic number, but with a different number of neutrons and therefore a different mass number. Even though atoms of any given element will always have the same number of protons, they can have different numbers of neutrons. For example, all atoms of nitrogen have seven protons and seven electrons. It's electrically neutral, so the seven positive charges of the protons cancel out the seven negative charges of the electrons. An atom of nitrogen will always have an atomic number of seven because they will always have seven protons. But its number of neutrons can vary. Most nitrogen atoms have seven neutrons, but some may have eight. A nitrogen atom with seven neutrons has a mass number of 14, seven protons plus seven neutrons. Remember, the mass of the electrons is so small, so for our purposes, we don't factor them into our determination of the mass number. However, a nitrogen atom with eight neutrons will have a mass number of 15, seven protons plus eight neutrons. Isotopes are often written with their mass number as a superscript to the upper left of the symbol, such as N14 or N15, or their mass number is included after a dash following the symbol. Most isotopes are stable, which means that the structure of their nucleus does not change over time. Some isotopes, however, are unstable and are called radioactive isotopes or radioisotopes. The nucleus of a radioisotope is in a state of spontaneous decay or change as it moves into a more stable configuration. Some examples of radioisotopes include hydrogen-3, carbon-14, oxygen-15, and iodine-131. As a radioisotope decays, it releases radiation in the form of subatomic particles or energy, and because of this can even transform into a different element. An example is the decay of the radioisotope carbon-14 into nitrogen-14. The amount of time it takes for a radioisotope to decay to half of its original quantity is called its half-life. Depending upon the radioisotope and its rate of decay, this can be measured in seconds, minutes, hours, days, years, or even millions of years. Even though radioisotopes can be harmful, some have benefits and are often used during medical imaging procedures in order to diagnose and treat certain disorders. Radioisotopes used in medical imaging are called tracers. They are used to follow or trace the movement of a specific substance through the body. For example, thallium-201 is used to monitor blood flow through the heart during an exercise stress test. Iodine-131 is used to determine the size and activity of the thyroid gland in order to diagnose conditions such as hypothyroidism. Iodine is used by the thyroid gland in its synthesis of thyroid hormone. 